Okay, what you want to do is take one brush full of blue and put it over here at the top and leave a little space so it's not so close to the edge. That way you're not going to get it on the table. Okay, and then stamp this brush down like this a couple times. Go back and wash your brush out. And you only want one brush full for now. Then you go like this and pinch your brush instead of pull it. Now go grab a, uh, some green and put quite a bit of paint on. Don't be real stingy with it. You have to go back and pick up a little bit more for green. That's fine. But no more than two brushfuls. Again, stamp. Try and get a lot of the paint off. You're not going to get it all off. So you have blue, green, and brown. Just a, you don't need a lot of brown, half a brush full. And e, uh, black, half a brush full. Just on one corner is going to be enough. So you have blue, green, brown, and black. Okay, now what you're going to do is, to, uh, with your green, you're going to put some green over here, just a part of a brush full. Pick a corner of the fan brush, just mix this in with a little bit of blue. Just a little bit of blue and green. You do not have to wash your um, brush out. You can pick a little bit of black. And very little, and put a little black in there, but don't get it so that it starts to turn black. On the video, it looks black, but this is green. So it's blue in first, a little bit of black. So blue first, and you have a separate splotch you're mixing. You can also go here and take a little bit of brown now and mix that in to see how the color changed. If you decide, I want to change this and go back and mix more blue in it, you get a green that you like. What do we have? You're picking um, green, put blue in it, then put black in it, and put brown in it. You're really mixing all three of these in whatever combination you want. Just so you uh, lower the intensity of your green so it looks more natural in nature. Okay, now stamp your brush like this so you get rid of paint, but yet you're going to be able to pick this up. Move your mixing paper aside. We could sit and mix for the next 15, 20 minutes, but that's not what we're going to do. Um, what you need to do now is make sure you have green on your brush. Pinch this a little bit so you get less paint on the tip in here. On your paper, you're going to put um, two things on here. We're going to, on the right side, you're going to do this. First, make a stamp a line. If you need to add a little bit of water in your paint, you're going to stamp a line like this, all the, way across. all the way down. Okay, get your line, vertical line down. You're stamping like this. Okay, then at the top, you're going to go like this and very little up here. And as you go like this, you're going to keep going down and keep getting wider and wider as you stamp. And you should have very little paint on your brush so that you get this to be more feathery and it's not so solid. And if you end up with lots of solid paint, the deal is get your paint, uh, pinch your brush in the towel, you'll get less paint. Notice that I went from uh, shorter, got a little bit longer, 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 longer horizontal lines. 
the horizontal line is not perfect on each side and doesn't need to be. Okay, now what you need to do is go in between here and start making some variation so that this fills in in the middle, not solid green. If you have too much paint, then you're going to end up with not the natural looking tree with the like this. And I don't want to see a tree where it's all straight here. Notice it kind of curves in and out. If it looks a little straight in one spot, just stamp some little extra uh, color down. Okay, you should be stamping, not dragging your brush. Stand up if you need to. Um, in fact, right now I want everyone standing up to finish just to see how that's different, how your brush turns differently. Stand up so that you can stamp your color on. Go all the way to the bottom. Okay, if you need to mix more green, because you're going to do another tree on the other side a different way. Okay, uh, stop on this one. You can always fix it later. Make another line here. Go all the way to the top. Okay, again, make sure you don't have a ton of paint on. I'm pinching this to get rid of some of mine. Okay, I'm going to show you what to do, and then you'll do it when I'm done demonstrating. So right now, just watch. I'm taking the tip of my brush like this, and I'm curving it. And I get longer and longer as I go. Okay, that's too much the same. Then I'm going to go back in here and start to fill that in. Because so, the middle needs to be thicker than the outer edges. Notice this is wavy in and out. You get that by not having a lot of paint. And some of you get that because you're standing up versus sitting down. So you need to stand up and just figure out, is this how does it change? How does it feel different? How does it look? Does it look different versus sitting and standing? Okay, now on the left side, you don't need to go straight across this time. You can alternate. And you're doing pretty much the same thing as you did on the other side, but you're curving this a little bit. And again, this does not need to look the same. It just needs to be longer on the bottom than it is at the top. And then on this side, you're going to go and fill this in. On the top, you're just going to take the corner and do a little bit. It... You want to get rid of this line in the middle. And to do that, put more color on in the middle. And all I did was stamp up and down. Now that kind of disappeared. Okay, now you have to make a choice. Do you want to stand up or sit down? You need to figure out what makes your picture look better.